you ever seen a dog do this? So Boomer is a picky eater. Brittany has a cookie. I've never met a dog that didn't want a cookie. Plain. He won't take he it won't from her. It. Hold on, try it again. See if he'll take it. He won't take it. He doesn't want it. But if she dips it in coffee, look at him. Look at his, his eyes like lit up. He'll take the whole thing and start chewing it and walk away with it. This dog loves coffee and sometimes won't even eat his own dog food unless there's a few spoonfuls of coffee in there. So that coffee really knocked you out, huh? I want to share this new app that I got with you guys called One Set. You might have heard about it. It's similar to Instagram, but for fitness. And the cool part about it is you can join certain communities. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. You have the home, which will give you popular, rising, and the people that you're following. So a lot of people have joined this already. You got Mastetics, Barbell Brigade. And then you can go to this next tab right over here, which will be the communities that you're actually a part of and also other ones that you might be interested in. Strength, you have calisthenics. People can create their own community, so Barbell Brigade has them right now. This would be where you do your video uh, picture or a text post. These are your notifications, very similar to Instagram. And then you have your personal profiles. And then what you could do after you post your video is you can actually make it a part of a community. So I selected it, now it's a part of the Fusaro Fitness community. So when you go to that, you'll see that video. And you can set it for any community you want any body part that you're lifting. So cool app, definitely check it out guys. It is called One Set. So there's my community, go ahead and follow it. All right, so we're in the gym, chest and tri workout today. So first thing, we're starting off with the incline dumbbell bench press. This is a typical incline that you see a lot of people use for incline bench. In my opinion, this is too high. And the reason is because the higher the incline, the more you're going to activate your anterior delts. So your front delts might start taking over if you're inclined too much. Now the goal of an incline press is to try and hit the upper part of your pecs. Now you can't really isolate upper pecs, middle pecs, inner chest, outer chest, lower chest. Your pecs are gonna work as a whole when you're pressing. But you can emphasize certain areas by varying angles and inclines. So we're actually gonna bring this down slightly to take a little bit of shoulder out of it. So right around here. now. One of my biggest tips with any kind of pressing exercises is retracting the shoulder blades. And that means back and down. So think about putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket. So we're going back and then down. So depress it. So retract and depress and that will bring your chest up, putting you in a healthy position to really hit your chest without letting your shoulders come into play too much. So when you're setting up again, set up, get back and down and get that chest up. So if you're not retracted, you're gonna look like this and your shoulders are gonna be rolled forward. So every time you press, you're just gonna be pressing with your shoulders and collapsing your chest. You want that chest to be up and out. So every rep, you're squeezing that chest and really getting a full contraction here. You wanna think about pushing your back into the bench rather than pushing the weight away from you. When people are benching, all they think about is pressing the weight away from their body. Try to think of the cue of driving your back into the bench. So instead of doing this and thinking about pushing the weight away, because when you push the weight away, your shoulders are coming forward, you're gonna collapse your chest and you might lose that retraction. Whereas if you use the other cue, driving your back into the bench, you're thinking about keeping everything back there and the weight will start to come away from your body. So that's just a simple cue. Don't try and push the weight away from you. Try and drive your back into the bench and then press. That will keep your chest in a good position and your shoulders safe and healthy as well. So get retracted a little bit harder with dumbbells, but just get yourself in a good position. Press up and you can fix yourself once you get the weight up and then down slow back up, remember driving that back into the bench. Teeny bit more flare in the elbows. There you go, that looks perfect. Good, good control on the way down. Every rep just like that. That is perfect, right there. Good. Nice. Good set. All right, so I hope these tips and cues can help some of you guys out. And one thing to keep in mind is that these apply to all types of chest pressing exercises. So not just free weights, not just dumbbells or barbells, incline or flat or decline, but also on a machine like this right here, hammer strength machine 
or other chest press machines, you want to keep that scapula back and down. So retraction and depression, slight arch in the lower back, get that chest up as high as possible and really drive and squeeze the chest at lockout. I get a lot of people coming to me saying they only feel their chest pressing in their shoulders and that's 99% of the time a form issue. So you can always try a different exercise if you're not feeling it, but more often than not, it's just a minor tweak in your form and you'll be good to go. So we did some of that incline benching, we did some hammer strain decline wide press, moved on to this superset here, so another chest press machine, and what I did was, I, again, you could see my form, my scapula is back and down, slight arch on my lower back. I did about 10 to 12 reps with a regular bench press grip, and then I grabbed this bar that goes over the neutral grip handles and burned out with some triceps. So following this superset, we hit some tricep cable press downs using the V-bar handle. And if you look in the bottom left corner of your screen, that was my last video that I made talking about people who experience elbow pain during certain tricep exercises. So I demonstrate with the tricep press down as well as the skull crusher, and I go over a few tips and tweaks you can do in order to take some stress and tension off your elbows. So in case you missed that, you can go ahead and click that video right there and it will open up for you in a new window. And I'll also have it linked in the description box below. And to finish off the workout, we hit some chest flies on the pec deck machine. Now this week, my training's been a bit more conservative and that's because I'm going away this weekend. Some of you guys might know where. One thing I can tell you is it's going to be epic. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you're keeping up to date. Turn your notifications on so you get notified for all my new videos. And that's about it, guys. That's going to wrap up this training footage. I want to thank you, as always, for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And yeah, that's about it. So enjoy the rest of the video, guys. We need some food. $3.50 for apples. Why don't you just mug me in the parking lot? Kobe. Hey babe, I'm the tin man. You get it? Where's your other eye? Oh, there it is. What up, dude? Grit? No, 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 no. Hmm. When you go into the gym, don't lift with your ego. How do we get into the online coach's freezer? Oh man, I am hungry. But I'm really trying to watch my weight. Definitely not Natty. So of course, I got what I make all the time and I never get sick of it. My taco salad, got some avocado in there, tomato, cilantro avocado salad dressing, some sriracha, lettuce, lean ground turkey, which is what I just cooked right there. And on the side, I'm actually gonna take some of that with this crunchy pita and I'm going to toss some melted cheese and sweet baby rays and we're gonna make a little lean ground turkey barbecue pizza. Mine, hers. So we got the salad right here, that little barbecue pizza that I made, bag of Quest chips, and I think Brick gave me the wrong mug. So she's Mr. Right, and I am Mrs. Always Right. So that's what we're gonna eat, and we will uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We'll show you the North Pole, because Brittany's very good at decorating. I've never met anyone who loves Christmas as much as her. So we'll show you what we got going on in the apartment as soon as we're done. So to give you a quick idea of how much Brittany loves Christmas, keep in mind it's only December 1st and we already got, that's like a fish Christmas tree she calls it. I don't know, looks cool, a little decoration. The Christmas crab all glittery, peace on earth, stockings, Santa, tree, stuff in a vase. This is going to be a village that she's currently working on, so she's gonna get all fake snow for in here. I say she, obviously I help her with this all, but she's so into it and it's just, it's awesome to see how excited she gets over it. But we have more pieces for the village to come down here. A whole bunch of different ornaments. She was actually a figure skater when she was younger and went to Lake Placid and actually almost went to the Olympics for it. So she was very into skating. You'll see a whole bunch of skating ornaments. A little Santa guy down there. Um, those little trees, that little present box, some ornaments up there. The candles right there. Mr. and Mrs. Stocking Holders, which we still need to get. We do need to grab some stockings. A whole bunch of cool, shiny candles. This little Starbucks corner. The uh, Christmas Starbucks cups. Uh, Santa stuff in there. Little Christmas tree nightlight spoons. Salt and pepper shakers. Fa-la-la latte. 
So the whole house is ready for Christmas. We're excited. She's excited, right? Right. Mistletoe right up there. What? I'm not done yet either. I know. I just said it's only December 1st. Um, if you stayed for the whole video, thank you. We appreciate it as always. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already and tell all your friends and family and everyone you know and <laughs> they know to do the same. This is the holiday season, so all help each other, right? And we'll see you in the next one. All right, have a good night, guys. And that's the end of the video. So thank you guys as always for watching. Keep in mind everything you see right now on this screen is clickable. So the previous video, the newsletter, my coaching and subscribing, you can do all that right there by clicking any of the buttons that are annotated on the screen. And in addition to that, if you're interested in becoming a certified personal trainer, one of the organizations that I highly recommend is the NASM and they are offering a free 14 day trial. So if that's something that you're interested in trying out, I will have the link in the description box below and you could start out your two weeks for free. So thanks for watching again, everybody, and I'll talk to you in the next video.